Hi, this is Joana Colucci with a 5-minute farm doc daily about how Brazil produces three crops of corn per year. While countries like the United States have only one crop, in Brazil it's possible to harvest three crops per year, each one in a different region and season. Let's start with the first crop, the most traditional. It's planted between September and October, mainly in the south of Brazil, which has a climate similar to the United States, and harvested between February and May. Corn is followed by wheat in the region's crop rotation. The first corn crop is the highest yielding in Brazil, around 100 bushels per acre on average. The second corn crop, called safrinha, is planted mainly in the Midwest after the soybean harvest between January and April and its harvest between June and August. It has become Brazil's largest corn crop. However, the yield is around 80 bushels per acre, 20% less than the first crop. And since 2018, the Brazilian government has officially recognized the third corn crop in the north and northeast. It's uh, planted according to the American schedule from April to September and harvested between October and December. Although still very small, it continues to increase in size. It's important to highlight that when we talk about three corn crops per year, they are not on the same land. Rotation is normally between grains, such as soybeans, corn, beans, and uh, pastures crops. Now, let's take a look back over the past 20 years. Second corn crop production has risen 13-fold, according to data from the national supply company, Conab. You can see this increase in the yellow line. At the same time, the first corn crop has remained stable, the green line. Planting of the next safrinha crop begins in January 2022. Production is expected to total a record of 3.3 billion bushels, an increase of 42% compared to the last harvest in 2021, when production was especially low because of the drought. Total corn production, including the first, second and third crops, is expected to increase 34% in 2022, reaching 4.5 billion bushels. Currently, the safrinha crop accounts for almost 74% of total corn production, followed by the first crop, 24%, and the third crop, less than 2%. Despite representing only 1.6% of the total corn production, the third crop has the potential to continue growing. High prices have been reinforcing the projections for expansion, especially into the northeast of Brazil. The region also benefits from its closeness to north ports for export. The expansion of corn production has been pushed in Brazil by many factors, such as available land, favorable climate, technological advances in soil management and improvements in seeds, increasing global demand and higher international prices, and target government support. Now, let's take a quick look at the world corn trade. Brazil has emerged as America's largest competitor in the global corn market. To give you an idea, Brazil's share of the world corn trade increased from 7% in 2011 to 22% in 2021. In the USDA's agricultural projection to 2030, Brazil is expected to be the second largest corn exporter in the world over the next 10 years, behind the United States and ahead of Argentina and Ukraine. 
In the next decade, corn acreage is projected to expand by 30% with the highest growth in the second corn crop, safrinha. For more information about how Brazil produces three crops of corn per year, you can read an article written by me and Gary Shinitki. A link is in the description of this video. See you next time!